Okay, let me just bring that a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can also, guys and girls can see. So that's boiled straw with some charcoal added. Here we have some success up here, just at the very top. Wow. Yeah, look at it's got a lot of growth inside there. That looks yeah, good. this seems to be this seems to be good, I think. Except for this top here, there's a bit of darkening, but maybe that will. Because it's wet. Yeah, just... maybe that's that will recover. So there you go. Okay. So this is also boiled straw. There's a very little amount there. Not so much. Oh, there's green some, mold. There's some here. We have some mold. Okay, was it biochar in this? Yes. Okay, this could be the biochar actually. No, I think that's green mold. Cause it could... Sure? Just take a closer look. It looks like oh, biochar. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is biochar. Okay, that's just biochar. Okay, that's good. It looks green from far. So we have actually three more. Okay, do you want to bring them out? So this is the one as well. This is the one with urine biochar and. Oh yeah, this is it right here. Remind me, see that? Urine biochar and straw. Okay. So now here's urine biochar, EM, and straw. Okay, that looks. 11, 12, and 13. That looks terrible, to be honest. That's what I think. What do you think? I don't know. You just have fungi growing through it. I hope you can see it there, huh? Eh? It's some mycelium growing. I think the, the charcoal just makes it look so awful, you know? There's some yellowing here. That's never a good There's sign. There's some green here. Yeah. Some green mold, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me just bring that up to the guys at home. Okay, so you can see there's some mold developing. There is um, some yellowing. And that's never a good thing. You know, I see more uh, high there here. Oh, yeah. I think it's even doing a little bit better than those three. Okay, so we have those. Let me just show. Oh. All right, what you brought out there looks really good. What is it? This is this is real thing. Huh? It's a simple one. <laughs> yeah, simple. Keep it simple, huh? Okay, this is our keep it simple ones. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. These. So when were they started? These were on um, the 5th of November. Yeah. So 5th of November. Mm -hmm. 5th of November. So these actually are ready to come out today too, actually, because it's the 15th. It's the 15th. So, so these are actually under 10 days. These have been in extra two or three days. So these been these are like a day later. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 14, 15, and 16. That's the 17th. Okay, here we have 14. Wow, look at this. How different. That is amazing. That is This is uh, um, This is spawn and soaked EM in straw. Spawn, soaked EM in straw. And at what dilution, like how much EM? Um, we just soaked it, so we didn't... So EM2. This. Yeah, EM2. Not EM2, EM2. <laughs> okay. Is it this one only or those There's ones? Three. Well? We did three of everything. Ah, okay. Brilliant. Well done, Cedar. So that 14, is this great. So this is actually very similar to the results we are having with the bag, which you saw in, in an earlier video, where I just soaked it in EM as well, and it's looking fantastic. It's fully colonized with okay. uh, the mycelium. So another thing that we did is we added more... Um, no sterilization, just EM no, sterilization. But we added more spawn. This is 50 grams of spawn, and all of those have 25 grams of spawn. That makes a huge difference, by the so way. So we're as thinking well. that yeah. adding more spawn is a better idea, and this is there. These are already, even though they were started later, are sh looking way better than anything else. Okay, that's. It's a difficult one now to tell because you've it's used three. a different amount of spawn, so that's. Yeah, exactly. That's what we wanted to show. More spawn mm. is better. Even if, even though these are older, they're still better. They sh these should be better by far than these at this point. That's true, but we do not. Well, but we do not know. Is it now due to the spawn or is it due to the? Yeah, yeah we do because these. Oh, good. These are. <laughs> uh, these are 25 grams of spawn and soaked DM and straw. See, they don't have as much mice. These are 25 grams this of is 25 on, grams on of the same day as this? On the same day. So we should compare them to these. Which ones are the ones with the EM? Okay, these ones, huh? Yeah. Mm. And they're doing better than... Okay, so these aren't doing as well as this one, because this is 50, this is 25 to 50 difference, and then those... 
These are, what number is those? Those are 5, the, 6, and 7? Yeah, EM worms. Yeah, 5, 6, and 7 are worm compost EMS. So I would say that these are doing maybe a, as good or not, if not a little bit better than Um, okay, so that's the conclusion. We have this one is as good as this anyway. Um, out of all of them, which one do you think is the best? Yeah, but that's because more spawn and more yen. So what we need to really do now is I would suggest another experiment where we split somehow trying to find out is it the yen or is it the spawn? Is there a way of doing that? Well, I think the, I think these are comparative because these have the same amount of EM, but just this has more spawn and this okay, has Okay, yeah, then you can kind of scale that. Yeah. yeah. See, because when we first did this, our yeah. first... Our, they are better than these, so that's... Yeah. I think it does tell you that, yeah. Okay. I think, I think one of the things is when we started this, our first thought was, we both had the thought, we should be adding more EM and more spawn. Yeah. But, and so then we said, let's just test that then. Yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. a test on that before we go further so that we can just see is that gotcha. the case. Okay, so let's test, maybe we should do that test just to be 100% certain that it is it is the um, and Okay, the spawn... What test do you think we should do that we didn't do? I don't know, can we somehow split it? We'll have to think about it, but can we somehow do a test where we can see... Um, you know, is it adding more spawn, or is it adding more EM, or is it both together, or is it, you know, is there so a way of doing mean, that? So you mean, so do one with less EM and more spawn? And vice versa. And vice versa. Something, we'll have to design something, and maybe make a, a separate video on that, because, I mean, it's kind of, in a way, nearly conclusive, but it's not... I would feel personally, I mean, this is amazing work. I mean, it's already telling us quite a lot. And we only need three replicates with mushrooms. That's what we were told, yeah. Yeah, so instead of the six, so six yeah. to eight and yeah. or whatever. Now more is always better, but three is what they say, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we will end the video there. Do you have some more stuff? Yeah. Oh, we don't end the video just, just yet, just wait. Okay, what did you okay, got so here? So these are some of the other experiments that we tried. More, these are all with more EM and more spawn. Okay. Okay, so we have these done now. We're happy with the social results. Now, do you want to, like, out of all of these, if you were to gift me any of these, I know which one I would be kind of taking home with me because uh, this is just saturated with mycelium. Just amazing, these two. Do you want to talk a little bit about these two? Yeah. The first pile that's right next to you is, a, is sort of a tester to see what would the um, mushroom beds do if we had more EM and more spawn. So we have soaked the straw in EM and added more spawn. So there's 50 grams of spawn and soaked straw in these ones. Mm -hmm. And it's soaked in EM2. EM2. Yeah. And this is on the 5th. 5th of November. 5th of November. Okay, yeah. cool. So then on the 8th of November we came back we liked this, like by, by the next day, this is already growing more mycelia than the other ones we've done. So we decided to do more experiments mm -hmm. with 50, 50 grams of mycelium or spawn and uh, soaked straw. So these are two, they both have uh, 50 grams of, of spawn mm -hmm. and soaked EM straw. In addition, this one has EM bokashi, which is food scraps fermented for 10 days in EM. So it's like pickled fruit, basically. And so that one is really doing great because it has a ton of EM in it. And this has worm castings. We wanted to test worm castings because worm castings pull, can pull, the worms can pull out the heavy metal. So we wanted to see the impact of the worm castings on the growth. See, this one seems better, actually. I'm sorry, but this is way better than even this one. I'm sorry, I should have changed my mind. I'm, uh, okay. I'm going to... We'll show... Okay, that's let's really... See, let's, let's, let's see the I'll just take one... Look at random. Because yeah. they look they're all the same, yeah? Yeah. You agree? They're roughly yeah. Okay, this one is the best. Mm -hmm. And we'll take the best of this one. Uh, go ahead, what were you saying? So just uh how do you call it? The so worm? these are the best of the best. This worm compost when we versus you go over 
um, the fruit, the oh, bokashi. Yeah, it's so what would you guys say? Would you also agree that this is a little bit better than this by maybe 20? I think it's better by 20%. It looks more colonized, this one than yeah. this one. Is it true? I don't know. You get Yeah, I mean, especially this bottle looks like it doesn't have as much. Now, one of the things Jafar was saying is it was much yeah. easier to integrate all of the worm castings in with the straw and have it stick together in one, one pile. Okay. You know what I mean? But when we did the food scraps, they were like falling out because they were bigger chunks. Right. So it was harder to get them thoroughly mixed together with the straw. So it's more like layers or chunks we try to put in with the straw. Okay. So he was thinking that might have an impact on the yes. growth. Everything the has an impact on everything. Yeah. I mean, essentially, this could be because the spawn is tighter pressed together against the material, allowing it to grow faster. That, that could be the only reason why this is better than this, but it could also be because of the microbes in the worm compost. It could be tens of different things. Yeah. But we can't get into those details with the, the amount of, I mean, resources that we have, yeah. literally. So we just got to go with, yeah, worm compost seems, this method seems to be... Very well. Okay, so I'm taking, I'll see you later then. <laughs> okay, so that's basically concludes the video I mean that's really interesting we have some more work to be done um, talk about that. we'll talk about that in the next video because we haven't fully figured out what we want to do um, so there's more videos on the way and yeah that's it thanks guys right, thank you. work yeah thanks for coming by